Of all the elections to be held by INEC in July, perhaps it is the elections in River State that will be the most keenly monitored by the world. Stakeholders gathered in this hall are here to ensure that the elections in the four states pass off peacefully. The violence that greeted elections there is still fresh on the minds of those who lost loved ones, like the family of this National Youth Service Corps member. INEC had in the aftermath of the polls said it will only return to Rivers to conclude the polls if peace was guaranteed by all parties. The belief here is that it is. Of course, we are all aware of what happened in Rivers, which incidentally accounts for about 50% of the 80 nullified elections. The issue of Hancock Star has to be made clear that I have not seen where and ACO staff are employed or even recruited by INEC. But it is not only in River State that there was breakdown of security on Poland Day months ago. Imo, Kano and Kogi suffered similar fates. No wonder then in conclusive elections. Reports from all four states indicate a readiness to get the elections over with peacefully. But are stakeholders here confident the picture on Poland Day will be any different from the last time? Things will change in rivers because there will be enough monitoring this time around. There will be enough staff to go around. There will be enough security to monitor. All eyes will be there. Mm, from all indications, I think the political parties involved in those states that are still outstanding are prepared this time around. There was never a threat of um, insecurity in any part of human state. The representative of the acting inspector general of police is talking tough at this meeting. They were not going to allow carnage, we were not going to allow um, brigandage, we were not going to allow criminals and hoodlums to create a situation where election will never take place. Talk, they say, is cheap. The resolutions and commitments of political parties here and other stakeholders who were tested on Poland Day. From the federal capital, Shagojumu, Steve News.